Good morning, church. My name is Laura and I'm here from our central Manchester location, uh, campus, and uh, really looking forward to sharing a devotion with you this morning. I'm also uh, overseeing our Audacious Foundation, which is all about changing lives and transforming communities. And I'd love to share with you today a little bit about building godly relationships and the importance of persevering in that. I remember moving to Manchester for the first time, and that was just under seven years ago. And Perhaps you've had a similar experience having to uh, relocate or settle in a new city uh, that you don't know and uh, with people that you also uh, don't know. I came uh, by recommendation uh, of my home church who had encouraged me to sign up to do Audacious College uh, and to come over to Manchester for a year to be able to do that and that was such a brilliant experience but I knew that stepping into a new season uh, and a new environment um, that God had for me also meant leaving some of uh, my old relationships and friendships behind and um, Although I had the full support of friends and family um, coming over to Manchester, I knew that I couldn't bring them with me. And so I had to trust that if God has positioned me um, to be here in Manchester or in a new environment, wherever it was, um, then he will also provide for me, including the provision of new friendships and new relationships. And so during that time, uh, the year that I spent initially uh, getting settled in Manchester, I learned that developing new relationships, it isn't a quick process and it does require effort. And perhaps you've been investing in people around you for some time or settling in to your environment for some time. And maybe you still don't feel that you have any depth of relationship. But my encouragement to you this morning is don't give up. Um, but continue to persevere in building godly relationships because you will receive a return on your investment. And I can say that from my own experience. And so uh, I just wanted to kind of list three reasons for you to keep going, keep investing, keep persevering with the people that God has put around you um, because he will come through with you in those relationships. The first reason is because godly relationships help to keep you on the right path. Proverbs 18 verse 24 says, one who has unreliable friends soon comes to ruin, but there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. So continue to develop godly relationships because they will keep you on the right path. The second reason is because godly relationships bring out the best in you. You will have heard people uh, talk about this verse, Proverbs 27 verse 17, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. And I know that there are friends around me, uh, even today, that sharpen me and bring out the best in me. And those are the people that God has placed in my life to uh, fulfill the purposes that he's put on my life. So uh, invest in those relationships um, because uh, they will bring out the best in you. And uh, the third reason is because godly relationships will see you through difficulties. Proverbs 17, 7, a friend loves at all times and a brother is born for adversity. And now as I look back on the relationships that I have been able to build and are still building with people, uh, I can see just how much that God has blessed me through those relationships that have been established. And uh, I'm so thankful that I didn't give up in the process uh, and still challenged to keep going because God is always putting new people in our lives. And so um, today I wanna encourage you, why not take uh, a fresh perspective on the relationships that God has positioned you for and uh, have faith for what they could look like in the next six months, in the next year, in the next 10 years as you continue to invest in them. Thanks so much for listening to our devotions today and I hope you have a fantastic day.